If you said twist my arm in the Middle Ages, you'd better be ready for them to actually do it. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, when people wanna get creative, they paint a picture or draw a picture or write a song. But back in the medieval times, and I'm not talking about the restaurant, I'm talking about the actual era. Oh, yes. They, um, the way they got creative was by figuring out creative ways to torture one another. Well, you gotta do something in your time. Insane stuff that you may or may not believe is real, and we're gonna play a game with that that I like to call, is that an actual medieval torture device or just a figment of my own demented imagination? Yeah, I, I hope that it becomes clear over the course of this episode that you are demented because I think you've wanted to talk about torture devices yeah. and stuff secretly uh, for years. I know that you went to a torture museum. I did. We'll talk uh, about uh, that later. Oh, okay, okay. And and I stay as far away from torture as as uh, not today, not brother. Not medievally possible. Here's how it's going to work. Uh, I'm going to describe a device that may or may not be an actual device from the Middle Ages that they used to torture people with. Yes. You say yes, it was, or no, you made that up. Okay. For everyone that you get wrong, Link, I'm going to torture you in Good Mythical More by making you eat a cherry tomato. <gasps> uh, uh, well, as ridiculous as it sounds, that is a valid form of torture for me. And, and uh, I'm going to eat one for everyone that you get right. Okay. And that will not be torture because I love them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let me have it. The thieves' bath was reserved for people who had been accused of pickpocketing. They were forced to dunk their paws into a barrel of molten tar until their fingers literally fused together. Regardless of whether or not they were pickpockets before, they definitely weren't after those melted flippers. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna steal now? Water? <laughs> <laughs> yes, water. Um, hmm. I just don't, I think you, I don't know. I just don't think don't that think would prevent much. people from stealing. No stealing. Um, just because it's the first one, I want to say that's legit. Okay. It's true. You oh. didn't make it up. I did make it up. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Got you on the first I one. I should have known it with the drinking water yeah. thing. Oh, so there's one. It was one. just a setup for my water flipper joke. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition, especially not the people who had the misfortune of riding the Spanish donkey. It was a sharp, long, wooden wedge that the prisoner was forced to sit astride with increasing weights pulling down their ankles until they were literally split in half. Oh, I bet that hurt. Yeah, a few steps beyond the atomic wedgie. Mm, the donkey wedgie. <laughs> Spanish donkey. Spanish donkey wedgie. Um, you don't man. wanna ride it. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's true. Oh, really? You don't think I can make up something like that? Oh, I know you You're could. right, Link, it's real. That's demented, There man. it is right there, nasty. Oh, it, it looks, it looks like a- They could made it like a donkey, though. Put some ears on it, put a tail on it. Just looks like a sawhorse. Oh, and you just, oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Does it, yeah. Ever wondered where the phrase out to pasture came from? Nope. Well, this special old English tradition. A prisoner would be buried up to their neck in the middle of a cow pasture. Then someone on the other side of the paddock would excite the cattle with a red hot brand, causing them to run back and forth across the prisoner's head. Ooh, trample face. Trample face was another name for it. <laughs> mm. Bring out the trample face. <laughs> well, that's what they called like ugly people back then. So oh. he's got the trample oh, face. He, <laughs> he survived. Put out the pasture. He survived the pasture. Got the trample face. Um, I do believe that th this sounds true hmm. and sad. Oh. Well, so I'm gonna say true and sad. It's fake. <laughs> That's sad. You got it wrong again. That's another tomato. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, out of the pasture just means you put a horse out. It's like a retiring thing. You know, you just retire a horse. I should have, yeah, yeah, I should have known that. Yeah. I, already, I did know that. If you're looking for a bargain basement form of torture, this is it. All you need is a bucket and some rats. A bunch of rats would be placed on a prisoner's chest with an upside down bucket on top of them. Then heat would be applied to the bucket, forcing the rats to escape by chewing through the prisoner's body. Ugh! Wouldn't you like to see that? A tunnel through a person's body? Did it kill them? I don't know if they made a tunnel. So did they all go through one rat hole? Mm. Depending on where it was, you'd either live or die. Yeah. When do they went for the nipple? Hungry. Is that a soft spot? I'm not answering that. Um, 
I, I'm going to say that this one's true because uh, I don't think you'd make up anything related to rats. Oh, you're right, Link. Oh, gosh. That, this is totally real. Did people actually, watch? Well, people watched Too Fast, Too Furious. That was a movie that this was featured in. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I didn't see it. I saw I saw seven. Yeah. And I'm working backwards from yeah, there. Yeah, that's cool. That's how you do those. Busy bodies beware. The eavesdropper's advice was made just for you. If you'd been accused of spying, you could expect to be strapped to a large wooden table. Then ropes would be attached from the walls to your ears with vice clamps. Next, a torturer would cr turn a crank that rotated the table, causing your ears to twist off your head. Real effect. You didn't do that with your hand. No, you couldn't. I could it, twist your ear off right now with it's my not hand. Near, it's not nearly as fun, though. You want to put them on the thing and turn. You want to use a device, yeah. Yeah, you want to. You want to depersonalize it. That's why right, yeah. executioners wear masks, because mm -hmm. you don't want to be like, "Hey, Bob, what's up?" Hey, it's like right. I'm about to kill you. That's what. Yeah, exactly. It's like, but coffee yesterday but was great. This is just about the this ears. This is false, man. You made this one up about the ears. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. You're right, Link. <laughs> How'd you know? Because because that's a lot of effort just to pull off an ear. Has your wife been more uppity than usual? Yes. Oh, no, I didn't answer that out the loud. The Scold's Bridal will solve that. It was an iron mask complete with donkey ears that would be locked around your lady's face. Again with the donkey? Yeah, they liked the donkey. It also included a tongue depressor with spikes on it, so she definitely couldn't nag you for leaving the chamber pot lit up again. Chamber pot's a toilet. So it was a, it was a head it's a piece with donkey ears and spike tongue. Yeah, it was just a mask for the, the woman in your life. <laughs> mm. Man, did it kill her? I don't know. She just made her not not speak. Oh man, I hope this is false. True. It is true. Oh. They also punish witches in this way. Ooh, gross. Really nasty with the donkey ears. That ain't right. Okay, how about if this? If anyone like... out there was <clears throat> questioning whether that was right or not, I'm gonna go on record to say that ain't right. You're doing pretty well. The brazen bull was a large brass bull with a door in its stomach. A prisoner would be inserted into the bull, then a fire would be lit underneath it, causing the prisoner to burn alive. As an added bonus, it was designed to make their screams sound like an actual bull. I was with you until that. I mean, I've been burned a number of times and never <laughs> once did I make a cow sound when it happened. But it was, ac so it was like acoustic <laughs> design. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that, that's not the sound you make when you in the Middle Ages, it was. Okay, then true. <laughs> it is true, Link. <laughs> this thing is, and the, look at that. That's, That's what it looked like. a big bull, man. Now, the crazy, sadistic thing about this is that the guy who designed this thing, Perillos, brought it to this tyrant for him to use to punish prisoners. And you know what he did? They he put Perillos in it. They used him on, in it. That's why you can't make this kind of stuff because that's the, the obvious thing that's gonna in happen. It. Yeah, that's why I don't make these in real life. I make them in my mind. <laughs> Should have made it where it's like it wouldn't fit him. Okay, Link. The adulterer's ball was just a large iron ball filled with spikes. A convicted cheater would be placed in the ball and then rolled down a large hill. They'd be left in the ball at the bottom to die. So the spikes are on the inside or the outside of the ball? What do you think? I think the inside. Yeah. Ooh. The outside would be like a state fair ride. Mm, it's like, I bet he's having fun in there. Open the hatch. Ooh! <laughs> Must have been an adulterer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. That would be nasty, wouldn't it? I mean, just think about that. Think about opening that thing up. Or not think about it. How about that? How about I think about How a about, happy thing, like Ferris it. wheels or... Mm. Another ride that's what just happy. What wheels had spikes on the inside of them? Uh, then it would be this. Um, hmm. You are a demented person. Huh. Because you made this one up. That's what I think. Well, they should have right, done so this I'm one. saying this is fake. You're right. It's fake. <laughs> they should have done it. They should have. I, they probably Man, did something I could something only like travel this. back in time and make a ball with spikes on the inside that could mince people I up. Would. I would do it. For cheaters. <laughs> okay, I got one more for you. The pair of anguish might sound like that time you took a chance on a two-week-old piece of cobbler, but it's way worse. It was a pear-shaped... P-E-A-R, -E not P-A-I-R? P-E-A-R. Okay. It was a pear-shaped metal device that was inserted into the mouth and other orifices. Think about those for a second. Cool. <laughs> then the torturer would turn a crank on the other end, splitting and expanding the pear into four spiky leaves. It's so it's kind of like one of those 
uh, drywall bolts you put, and then once it goes through the wall, it's like that. But it's not drywall. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's not drywall. Mm, prickly pear. I think you got to pick where they put it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is the face I make when I think about torture pears. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is gross and that is true. And I will never eat a pear again or put it in an orifice again. <laughs> you don't believe I can make something like that up? I know you can, but uh, I'd say it's true. You're right, Link. And look at this. There's a bunch of these. It's true. There's a bunch of these still in existence. Oh. I don't believe they're used anymore, but they sure are nasty. Don't put those in your fruit bowl. <laughs> oh my goodness. So how many did Link miss? He only missed two. Link, you all have to eat two cherry Woo! tomatoes of Good Mythical More, and I'll eat the rest of but them. But trust me, it's still gonna be dramatic. Uh, let me know what your favorite torture, and no, don't. Don't comment anything about torture devices in the comments. Yeah. Let's comment happy comments, okay? Yes, please do that. And also, thanks for subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family, because they want to know about torture devices, too. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Ian, and this is Princess. We're from the Philippines, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Head over to our Facebook page, because we have kicked off the week of Christmasicality, where you can do fun challenges, win cool prizes. Woo! It's all it. fun. Facebook.com slash Rhett and Link. Click through to Good Mythical More where Rhett is going to torture me with tomatoes. Oh, yeah, I am. And I'm gonna eat some. If I'll just be eating tomatoes. We're gonna, gonna play some tortured. more of the game, too. Ooh. Overly confident conversation about photosynthesis. Hey, have you heard of how plants work? Oh, of course. <laughs> You're referring to... Photosynthesis. photosynthesis. Yes, yes. Do you know that I once took a photo of the process? You did? Of the of the, of, of the photosynthesis. Of, of course, that's when a plant drinks sunlight, sunlight and then turns it into plant juice. juice. <laughs> which it <laughs> then it drinks from it, its own self. Right, right. It's not pleasant to watch. But, but it's great right to photograph. But I am an expert in photographing it. Oh, yeah. Let me see those. Is it I, well, Instagram it's, account? It's just pictures of plants, really. You catch them in the act, and it's just like, that's just a plant. Drinking itself. Drinking itself is a juice. Rather awkward. <laughs> I don't taste anything. I'm thinking think. about trying to swallow it whole. That's how much I don't want to taste. <laughs> like, can I swallow it whole? You could try, but I wouldn't. Because you don't have teeth in your throat.